How to use Jira Service Management. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. I will walk you through how you can use Jira Service Management. So if you're just starting out, this is going to be um, a very helpful guide for you because it's just going to showcase how to go about starting to use Jira Service Management and how to actually set things up and how to use the projects and everything in between. So let's actually get started. So uh, the first thing you will need to go to is going to be Atlassian.com. Uh, and then from here, you can just go to products and you should find Jira service management from alongside somewhere over here, maybe resources. Uh, you can find um, a lot of other products here from within products, sorry. So if you go to products here, you can see uh, Jira software, service management, Confluence and other stuff here as well. So we, we will just go ahead and click on Jira Service Management and it's going to take us to this page. From here, you will need to go go ahead and click on get it for free. Uh, and in here, you will need to complete the signing up process. It's not going to take you too long. You will need to uh, enter some information about you and your project and that kind of stuff. Uh, but it's going to be straightforward and easy to do. Uh, after that is done, you will basically find yourself in a similar page like this. This is going to be basically your service management and this is going to be your dashboard and uh, where you'll be doing all the work. So uh, to get started, uh, first what I personally love to do is just go to the profile pic on the top right and make sure this is a dark theme. It's a personal thing, I just like it. So. To get started with Jira service management, basically, uh, you will need to have a project and within the project, you will be able to have your team members and colleagues, and you can work within that project. You can create multiple ones. And within that project, you will have different tasks, um, alerts, works that are going to be assigned to specific people, uh, customers that are going to um, raise requests and so on. So first again we will need to go ahead and create a project because it's going to be everything is going to be underneath a project so uh, what we will need to do is go ahead and locate this project tab from the dashboard we just click on it and we can just go ahead and click on view all projects or create a project but here we can just do uh, view all projects if you do that it should um, give you a list of all the projects that you have running so Basically, we will need to just create a project. So we just click on that. And then here we will have plenty of themes and not themes, sorry, uh, templates to choose from. Because look, every every single template is going to be different from the other one because each one is going to be specific for the type of work that you will be doing. So if it's work management that you want to um, like set up just usual tasks for people that are working for you it's uh, kind of more simplistic you can just go for the work management if it's for marketing you can go ahead and uh, choose a template from the marketing uh, templates here and you can see a lot of templates that are going to be included same goes for finance personal operations uh, if it's it problems that you're trying to resolve and it's a project about it uh, and the problems that are going to be raised are IT related. You can go to IT templates and choose this one, for example. So um, for the sake of this video, let me actually create two. So let me create the IT one, for example, uh, and let's just choose the first one. Essentials or let's just create this one. I have created it once before. Uh, let me just do that again. So let me just use this and then we can just, if you want to read this, uh, it's completely fine, but you just click on use template after you choose the template that you want to create. Next up, uh, very simply, just create a name for it. We can just name it IT uh, project. And here is going to give you a key just, you know, to let you know, it's a shortcut for this specific project because this is going to be uh, a place where you will have multiple projects. So it's nice to have a key for each one so you can differentiate between them. Theme type, we can just uh, go ahead and make sure we select the IT. Uh, uh, where is it? Information technology. 
uh, channel access you will need to set this up uh, the way you want whether it's restricted so only people who are invited that can actually submit requests or if it's open so anyone actually can raise an issue or a request and you can help them out uh, we can just keep it as restrictive for the time being uh, and we can just go ahead and create project so it shouldn't take too long and it's going to create the project for us any second now and again like I said <clears throat> sorry like I said each template is going to be completely different there are going to be similar similarities between them but here the things on the left side they can be different because here we have incidents problems and that kind of stuff alerts and so on so it's going to be different so for the channels here and under the directory here people can actually or the customers can raise requests or uh, raise the problems and you can solve them for them here you can add the customers if you wanted to add them in here so you can you, they can actually talk to you within the channels or chat um and so on and here obviously before we even get started i'm sorry i should have told you before you can invite your team members from here so invite people to jira in general or create a team and you can just uh, invite them to your team so in here is going to be very simple uh, what you will need to do is just go to uh, any uh, one of these cards and here you can obviously create a request on behalf of your customers or if the customers actually create themselves is going to be a, is going to appear in here basically so uh, within the open tickets or if it's a problem is going to be underneath problems and so on so uh, we can just create one uh, on behalf of our customers so we can just create a request we select the project that we want to assign it to it's obviously going to be this one what is going to be the issue type whether it's a task whether it's a problem incident uh, or any of those we can just select problem for now and we can select the request type so we can just make it investigate a problem or we we've got plenty of types here to choose from uh, i'll just stick to investigate a problem uh, and then we can just go ahead and raise this request on behalf of so who's who's basically submitting this request it's either uh, one of your team members but most likely is going to be someone a customer or something and you can enter an email so you can just do for example example at example uh, dot com here you can just enter an email uh, and just select an email address here give it a summary the request like i have before problem with toaster and here the description you go uh, and, and describe the uh, pretty much the problem so toaster not working obviously this is it it doesn't uh, nothing has to do with toasters but we just click on create here we've got other things as well like urgency uh, impact uh, those kinds of stuff. for example urgency we can make it uh, medium impact it doesn't really have any impact so minor uh, and we can do other stuff as well so here uh to, to we can just select this one for now because it's not a, a part of the customer so it's not going to work anyways here so now that we have it it should actually appear within the tickets uh and we can assign it to uh other team members here that we have so we can assign it to whoever is going to be within the team is going to show up in here or you can just type in the name so we can just type in this name and we can just assign it to myself status open created uh the date and also time to resolution if it's going to be completed let's say you have uh, completed it you can just set it to uh, complete so uh that's pretty much it for this kind of project so you can just uh, like imagine how it's going to work you can just view it in boards uh, and uh, if you want to make it easier for yourself, if you're working for a team and you want to just check out if you have any tasks uh, related to you, uh, you can just go to your work here and you can see assigned to me and here is going to show you all the work that is going to be assigned to you. Same goes for recents, queues, alerts, and so on. Uh, now here, what we can do is go ahead, view all projects. So this is going to be all underneath IT project. And again, you can create multiple ones. So if you want to create another one, create project. Uh, let's just do work management. We can just create a blank one, name it um, example. And then we just create project. And here is going to be very easy 
uh, it's, it's pretty much exactly the same. It's just going to be a project and you assign uh, tasks uh, or problems or incidents, whatever the name is, it doesn't really change the fact that you can just, you know, create tasks and assign it to people. So uh, very simple here, It's more like Trello here. So we can just create a task, uh, write the introduction of a script. Uh, and we can just go ahead and create it. We can click on it, uh, go ahead and do stuff like assign it to people within the team. We can change the priority, due date, and all of those things. And we can just go ahead and add descriptions, uh, create stuff to it. And we can just, again, go to your work and you can see the things that are assigned to you. And here you can just manage all your projects and tasks when once this is done you can just move it to in progress and once it's completely done you can just go ahead and select it to done and you can see the confetti and everything in here so this is pretty much how to use uh jira in a nutshell it's going to be very easy and it's going to make all of the all of the projects and tasks all in one place uh it's just going to make your life much easier so again a project is going to have multiple tax tasks underneath it uh, you can assign it to people you can resolve uh, problems that customers um, like up to talk about and you can just resolve it uh, let them know about it they will get the notifications and here you can see it's because it was done it automatically just you know moves out of the way and here we can just click on that view the problem uh, and we can just obviously resolve it and everything. And again, we can just uh, manage our tasks and projects within here. So this is basically how to use Jira service management. Uh, I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.